Okay, so if you've got your phone, we're going to go ahead and put this into diagnostic mode. Now, this is a Samsung Galaxy S3. However, all the different branded Galaxy S3s have different methods by which to get them into diagnostic mode by which we can plug it into the computer and interface it with our programming software such as DFS or CDMA Workshop. This is a US cellular branded Galaxy S3 and this is unlike the Sprint and Verizon uh, versions uh, to put into diagnostic mode. So we've had a lot of requests for this. Uh, fortunately uh, one of our customers Valerie has allowed us to keep this phone for an extra day so that we can make the video so we thank her for that. Alright the first thing we want to do is on the US Cellular Galaxy S3 there's a hidden menu that we need to enable. So we're going to go to the dialer and we're going to enter the dialer code. Now I've got it down in the description uh, so you can uh, get it right there. So the dialer code is star pound 2274 5927 and then you'll see the enable slash disable hidden menu. So right now you'll see that it says hidden menu is disabled so we're going to go ahead and click that. It's going to open up another screen and we'll be able to select enable from that menu and now we'll click OK. Now we can just hit the home button and go back to the home screen. Now what we want to do is we want to go back to our dialer and we want to open up our phone utility screen and to do that we're going to dial star star 872 84 now this screen is going to look familiar if you've flashed the Samsung Galaxy S3 on Sprint or Verizon because this screen comes up now on the Sprint variant you would typically select CDMA modem. However, it's very important that on the US cellular variation of this phone, you leave it on PDA. Now we're going to go ahead and click Qualcomm USB settings, and we're going to select the very bottom selection, which is DM plus modem plus ADB, and we're going to go ahead and hit OK. Now we're going to hit the home button again. Now we're going to go to uh, menu and then settings. We're going to scroll down to developer options. And we're going to make sure USB debugging is turned on. So it is, so we'll hit the home button. Now let's go ahead and plug our phone in and see what we can do with it. Alright, so our phone's plugged in. You'll see the driver starting to load. If the drivers don't start to load, you need to go to um, Google and search for kiosk, search for the Samsung drivers for this phone and install. Now, I'm just going to skip installing the driver or searching a Windows update, and that usually prompts it along a little bit quicker. So now we can go to um, our device manager. and we can see that we have our serial port there. If you don't have the right drivers, obviously you won't get this, but you want the Samsung Mobile serial port. Now under modems, you'll see that there is a USB modem. If you see this, but you don't see the serial port under the port selection, then it's not installed properly. This is the one we want. So now we'll go to CDMA Workshop and we'll go ahead and we'll connect to that serial port. Now if you're familiar with, if you do a lot of phone flashing, you'll notice that this is slightly different from the serial port that you would see with most Samsung phones. This is the way it comes up on the US cellular. Just go ahead and connect to it. And then you can hit Samsung default and you'll see that
and that's it. Everything works. Remember with the US cellular variant, the SPC of course is always going to be zero just like with Verizon. So there you go, the device is unlocked and you can do whatever you want with it. So we hope you like the video. If you have any questions, leave them down below. If you have any uh, if you need videos made, please let us know what you need. And as always, keep on flashing.